Hello there fellow human, today we're going to be looking at how DNSPY works, a really popular .NET code disassembler. It is pretty much a must if you want to make an actual mod by yourself, like I said before, it is used to view code. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to reverse engineer Gorilla Tag and other people's mods. I am not responsible for any kind of harm people will do with this knowledge, my discord want this. So start off by downloading DNSPY from the official guy thub page. So here's DNSPY, it's an actual really simple program, at the left, you see the hierarchy. It shows every DLL you've edited plus its references. So, select the DLL you want to edit. I chose this random menu I found. Here you can see its namespaces. If you do not know what a namespace is then you should really learn some C Sharp or any coding language in general. You can also see all of its classes. Look, we can just view its code by clicking on it. Now, let's say that I really want to add long arms to my mod menu but I have absolutely no idea how I would do that. You can just search through a menu that has long arms and see for yourself how they did it. This is a really good method for learning. Don't just copy their code though, that's just scummy. Learn from it. So, go into the main method and search for long arms. It will take you to the right place. Here you can see exactly how they've done it. Many people in my discord has also asked me how you would go about transforming a menu to your own. Do not give out these modified ones, just saying. I'd say about 99% of every modern menu out there is based on the original monkey mod menu. So you can just use that menu for reference if you want to change anything. You see, the original monkey mod menu uses this method called draw for drawing the menu. It also initializes the title text in there too. Like you can see here, you can just change that title text inside the menu you're editing. There's two ways you can change the menu's title text. Either you add all the references to DNSPY and right click and click edit method and then change the title's text to whatever you want. Or you can create a new project in Visual Studio and copy over all the code. I'm really sorry if this video was really short or badly explained but if you're actually interested in learning or know C Sharp already then it should be more than enough for you to get started. Remember to join my Discord, it pushes me to make more tutorials on this subject when I see those beautiful welcome messages. Peace out.